12.23 a.m. It's getting late. All day I've had this fucked up camera. I think this is my third video. Definitely the last one anyway. Willie Pete, I'm going to grade you on this video. And trust me, son, this grade will be hard. You got a 90 on this one. One. People migrate to where there's jobs. You prove that. Two. The Mexican money and the American money ain't no difference. I just had somebody go down there just recently and told, he told me he paid $6 for a beer. Come on. Things have changed. If you watch YouTube, there's a North American agreement already in place. And this is the results of it. Everything is coming down between America and Mexico. And then, once that happens, Canada will fall. Then we'll have the Amero. And then things change. I won't go there. Maybe I've watched too many videos. But, I can host someone. Offer someone a job and have them here in less than three months. The thing is this, when you put yourself in position to hire and fire, who will you hire? People have been coming here for a long time from a lot of places. I won't say any country's names because I'm so untied with these places. And truth of the matter is, my name is actually the same as theirs. I don't want to go too far into that. So, in saying as much as I have said, I'm going to say this. The United States of America is probably the easiest country to get into, by far. Sergeant Willie Pete, Sergeant Willie Pete, you are right. When it comes to the Arabs and somebody got to get on a bus or a boat, uh, I mean a, a plane or a boat or whatever, the Arabs have the money. You, you must understand that. Oil begots cash. Cash, therefore, is money. Baby. So, you don't see people from Canada breaking their neck to get up in this motherfucker. Why? You don't see us breaking our necks to go to Canada. I look like a bald person over here, don't I? It's just fucking me up right here. Sun shining and shit. Look like the sun is beating off my head. I'm talking because I'm tired. Sergeant Willie P, you've made a lot of points. We do affect their economy greater than that. Greater than what you greater than what you said. I've been to Mexico several times. And as far as I'm concerned, the children in Mexico learn at a young age to take care of themselves. When our children here learn how to sit around and wait for somebody to do something for them. You go to Mexico and you see kids five and six years old hustling to get their fucking money home. In some places you see that shit here. But the average American kid sitting and wait for their mom and daddy to give them something. I've been to Acapulco, fucking every place like that. Ensenada, up and down there. And there's some places Cancun is not Mexico. We, we, let's go to Cancun. No, that's fucking American and shit. There's Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger has a house on the hill, and Sylvester Stallone lives over there. I've been all over Mexico. So, in saying that, what I would propose is this: the United States and Mexico join, and you let motherfuckers homestead. I would give a fuck about a goddamn road. As long as I didn't have this fucking burden I have. If United States and Mexico joined forces, became one country. One thing you must understand, we lose our constitution. Regardless if the constitution ever worked in a black man's favor or any American. Truly, the constitution was made for the rich and not the poor. You have to understand what you said about the black man's plight and the white man's plight is the same. That's why they got these people to put on sheets. Their niggers are taking your jobs. Put that sheet on and scare those fucking blacks. And they fucking did. They scared us into submission and we've been in submission ever since. And now, first time in their life, in their history, they are falling subject to the same thing we did. Again. But 
this time we're supposed to be mad too with them to fight the Mexicans off who taking our jobs who jobs that nobody ever took but what's gonna happen if America and Mexico did join all those motherfuckers that used to work at Nike and all these other fucking companies gonna go back to their old fucking job make seven dollars less and take some Mexicans job and then have Mexicans mad see some old black man told me a long time ago we have been placed placed against each other and if you can't see the writing on the wall and I say it in my videos and like I said I've been trying to teach white people I've been trying to teach Mexicans they're just the next ones we was placed against the Chinese we were against the Chinese first apparently we took Chinese jobs or something we were slaves the Chinese had fucking jobs some shit I forget Check it out, baby. Check it out. Um, Willie Pete, you made a lot of great points. But it's deeper than that. Why should we combine with Mexico? Why should we combine with Canada? Because we're being corralled in that direction. And you just said some things that completely brought that shit to full circle. I figured that was going to come up next. And it's weird how these conspiracy type people say this shit on YouTube and for you to say the same thing but if you look back in my videos I said the same thing too a long time ago that's funny how people are funneled in a direction a direction that we didn't have no direction going in but it comes around to the same direction that other people said we would go in it's kind of weird and ironic it's late at night and I'm sounding like I didn't watch too many fucking episodes of the X-Files but this shit is breaking down to me in a different way now when you look at the plight of humanity, it has always been those who have who control those who don't. The essence is why. It doesn't matter what country or whatever. People are migrating again. We always, I'm telling you, man, like I said, it's in our DNA. Just like the salmon going upstream. People are migrating again. Don't matter what you are, who you are. We're being led in a direction, and we as lemmings, the lemmings we are, are following in direction we're supposed to be going in. Till we act on that, we can't act on being friends with anybody, because everybody's been placed against each other. Look at the comments on this fucking video already. Look at the comments on, on this other video that, that we did earlier. You know, when you touch people in a way, they don't expect to. There's people telling me not to be your friend. I can't be your enemy. Why? Oh, I'm gonna hate on Willie P. Fuck Willie P. Fuck the real AIX. Fuck the whole YouTube thing. It's about bringing people together. And yeah, you're right. Those damn Mexicans. Right now, there's a big old fucking red circle around them with the fucking X to it. They're in the crosshairs for what? For trying to live and people can't get away without seeing someone trying to live if it ain't the Mexicans it'll be somebody else it'll be the damn Filipinos oh we already went through the Filipino thing you know what I'm trying to say Willie Pete is when you play a game of chess sometimes you can look way far ahead on the board you play a game of Madden football, you know that one play that'll get you out the crunch. When you go through that one neighborhood, you know that one spot where there's fucking light and you know you ain't gonna get God. But one thing we don't know about, that great unknown, the unknown, the unknown called humanity. We've always hated somebody and somebody has always hated us. Whenever people united, somebody died. So what can we possibly do to make this world a better place? We can live and speak. But when your voice gets too loud, when you start making sense, when you have a lot of people following you based on what you think you know, then somehow people die. I'd rather have a million people for them to shoot at than one. Whites, blacks, Mexicans, whatever. You've all been tubed. <laughs>